all right so let's start with the landscape texture so here i have created one grass texture and one simple ground texture i have painted these textures in krita you can also mix the colors and paint the texture directly in unreal engine however i feel that painting the texture outside of unreal gives you more control over it and you can replace these textures anytime and for the grass i am using this simple alpha texture so let's make the grass object So here I have made that simple grass object with three planes. Now let's export it as FBX file. All right. So here we are in Unreal Engine and I have imported all the textures as well as the grass object. Now let's start with creating the ground texture first. And I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. So let's go to material, create a new material and let's call it ground rvt1 now inside the material let's drag our grass texture and our dirt texture now i'm gonna plug the texture coordinate node so right click and search texture coordinate plug it to grass and just duplicate it again and plug it to dirt this gives you control over individual texture you can select the tiling from here now let's create a landscape layer blend and in the details let's add two layers in the index one let's call it grass layer keep the blend type to lb weight blend and index one let's name it dirt layer plug the grass and dirt layer texture and finally the output to base color let's keep the specular 0 and roughness about 0.9 now let's apply the material to our landscape so here i'm gonna apply it now let's go to landscape and in paint here in the layers click on this create layers from assigned materials this will now create two layers one for our grass and one for dirt now click on this create layer info and create weight blended layer just save it to a location similarly for the dirt so here are our two layers now you can keep the painting restriction to none and select your dirt layer and start painting here i am just scaling the uv tiling to make it look better all right now let's add the rvt so for that we'll add runtime virtual texture volume now we need to set the boundaries of this volume to our landscape so select the landscape in the bounds but right now the set bound option is off so for that we need a texture so right click and create a runtime virtual texture let's call it grass and plug this texture to the volume and now this set bound option comes up you can click on this and the volume fills the complete landscape add another one for the height and create another runtime virtual texture for the height now let's select our landscape and in virtual texture tab let's add two textures and plug our grass and height textures So now our RVT is captured here. You can increase the resolution from the size here. Now let's create our grass material. 
let's drag our alpha texture here in the material setting keep the blend mode to masked and plug the alpha to opacity mask now we need a rvt sample in the settings in the virtual texture select our virtual texture grass and plug the base color output to base color this is the very basic setup for rvt i'll keep the specular zero and roughness to about 0.9 now let's see it in action so open our grass object and plug the grass material to the object now let's go to foliage and insert our grass object to foliage i'm going to increase the density and let's decrease the scale a bit and paint the grass so here it is now it is sampling the color of our landscape and putting it on the grass object now let's blend it more with our landscape so first thing is in the foliage option i'm going to remove this cast shadows now we can see that there is a black tint on the grass when we look at it on certain angles especially like from this side to remove this we have to set the normals of the grass so let's open the grass material and first thing that i'm going to do in the details let's go to advance and in here deselect this tangent space normal now let's create a two-sided sign and let's create a multiply node now i'm going to create a color And let's set the blue value to 1. Now multiply these together and plug the output to the normal. Click apply. And now you can see our grass texture is completely merged with the ground. Okay, now let's enhance our grass material a little bit. So I'll start with the color. So I'll just add one yellow color and I'm going to apply this to the tip of the grass. Now to add it with the RVT texture, I'm going to use a lerp node, plug the base color to A and our new color to B. And for the alpha, let's use the texture coordinate node. Plug the texture coordinate to UV channel. Take the V gradient and multiply it with 1 minus x add another multiply node and keep the multiplication value at about 0.5 plug it to the alpha and finally plug the lerp to the base color now what this setup does is it applies a gradient on our grass from bottom to top between the rvt and the yellow color we can change this gradient position by changing this multiplication value so for example let's keep it 0.2 and now let's add that wave kind of effect to our grass for that i'm using this type of wave texture i have painted this in krita you can use krita or you can create a wave texture in blender and bake it let's drag our wave texture inside our material now let's add a world position node add a divide node and let's divide the xy value with a really high value about 5000 this is going to be the scale of the wave now let's add a mask node and now we need a panner node this will pan the texture along the grass plug the mask to the coordinate for the speed let's add one more constant let's keep the speed really low so about 0.02 plug it to speed and plug the panel coordinate to UV of the texture sample. Now I will add another multiply node and multiply the texture with another value. 
this will determine the intensity of the color of this texture. So let's keep it about 0.5 for now. Now we can directly input this multiply node to our lerp, but I am going to add it between two different colors. So let's duplicate our yellow color and make it darker green. Let's add another lerp node. Now add these color to the A and B slot and output of our texture multiply to the alpha. And now let's plug this lerp output to the base color B. Apply. So here it is on our grass. Now the color is very light. So I'll just increase this multiplication value to about 2.2. And now we can see our wave texture moving through our grass. And now let's add the wind movement. So I'm going to use simple grass wind for that. For intensity, let's add a constant. Keep it 1. For wind weight, I'm going to use the texture coordinate. So let's duplicate our texture coordinate node. Let's add a mask node. And in the mask node, deselect R. So it only applies to the G value. Then let's add a 1 minus node. And a multiply node. Plug the 1 minus x to multiply and output to wind weight. Let's add another constant. Keep it at about 0.4. Plug it to speed. And for additional WPO, we'll add 0. Let's plug the result to world position offset. And apply. So here is our grass with the wind movement. Now let's add one more small setup. If you do not want to paint the foliage manually, you can link it to the grass layer. To do that, let's delete these instanced foliage and let's create a foliage mesh. Open it. And in the mesh, let's plug our grass object. And here we can set the density and other properties that we like. So for example, I'll set the density to about 300. And also deselect these shadow options. Now in our ground material, let's create a landscape grass node. And a landscape layer sample node. Plug it to the grass. Now in the landscape grass node, in the details grass type, select the grass that we just made. And now we have to rename this landscape layer sample node. And we have to give this the same name that we gave in the blend mode. So here our grass layer name is grass1. So I'll just copy this one. And just paste it here. Apply and save. So now our grass is automatically spawned on the grass layer in the landscape. All right, so this is how you can create a simple runtime virtual texture grass. This setup can be used for different objects as well like stone and other. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.